Hey budget babes and welcome back to the channel. It's a girl, Mama Sila Budgets. Okay, I know I've been very non-active on my YouTube channel, but I have been very active on my Instagram. So if you guys want to follow my personal, it is Priscilla Ivana. I'll go ahead and leave a link down below. I miss the budgeting community so much and I know I have lost a handful of people because I did start posting more of like my life and behind the scenes. Yeah, hi Ethan. Bye. Can you close the door please? Mm -hmm. Thank you, love you. My son is currently playing with my niece right now. It is Sunday, July 10th. And you guys, I have edited probably like 10 videos for you all from just accumulating so much content that is not budget related. Um, in a sense, a lot of like traveling, me going to Atlanta, Georgia, which I just got back um, last week, when which I went on a business trip and it was amazing, you guys. Um, life has just been treating me so well and I've really enjoyed this season, but I noticed that I have been so busy. So today's video, I'm doing cash envelope stuffing. I just want to just show you guys how my life is kind of looking like. So I do want to show you guys this, these receipts. I did already take photos of them and did it on my federal rewards. And I'm up a lot of points. And you guys, if you don't have fetch rewards already, go ahead and download it because all you need for this app is to get receipts and we go shopping almost all day every day you guys whether it's to get gas groceries a lot of the essentials that you might need on a daily basis well when you get your receipts you go ahead and just snap a photo of your receipt and the points accumulate the minimum amount you can get for your points is 25 points and you get rewarded for your receipts and you can post your receipts up to 14 days of the last time you purchased it after the 14 days it quote unquote expires but right now i'm at 19,000 points you guys and the points add up you can get rewards like i got a five dollar target gift card and you can get um i think the minimum is five dollars but you have to have five thousand points so I'll go ahead and leave my referral link down below, but if I refer a friend, using my code you get 2,000 points and then I also get the 2,000 points for saying thank you. And all you have to do is snap a receipt to receive the 2,000 points. Doesn't matter how much you spend, if you just bought gas for 60 bucks, 20 bucks, you can get those 2,000 points. So I just did all of these receipts and I just had 18,000 points and so I got over 1,000 points just with all these receipts. These receipts are all from Atlanta, Georgia, and these as well, but I'm counting these as business expenses, so I am keeping these ones, and then I'm just throwing these out already. So, let me move that to the side, and I want to show you guys a little bit of my planner for my budgeting, planner for that. I have been trying to be very diligent with putting down all of my bills and all of my minimum payments for my credit cards and just things that I'm subscribed to. So this is for the month of July and I think I put everything down. I just wanted to show you guys this because I am trying even though I'm not recording a lot for you guys. So today we're working with Okay, first, let me just tell you how much I got paid for the month of June. I got paid total from all of my side gigs and life insurance for $2,657. I am due diligent, so I'm going to start making a schedule for my cash envelope stuffings and sticking to it. With my chaotic schedule, it has been hard to actually record because I just do it super quick. I'm going to be doing a couple of cash envelope stuffing. So I'm going to be posting on Sundays for my cash envelope stuffing. So I divided that by three, but I know there's like five Sundays of July. And so I'm going to just figure that out eventually when I get to the fourth Sunday of July but we're working with $885 so 
that is not the total cash we're working with with the total cash we're working with a hundred and eighty dollars and first of all tithe I don't take out anymore the tithe money I just keep in my account and then I pay tithes through my what is it called through my account and then it gets to, it gets deducted electronically so here are all the coins I do keep my one of my keys in my wallet just just in case if I want to keep my car on I do have my main keys but I just need to grab bread or something in the grocery store I have been leaving the AC on um, and like locking my doors and I know that's not ideal especially for gas prices and just wasting um, gas but it's been super hot out here in Cali and I don't do it often I just do it if I really don't want to turn my car off especially because I have been having trouble with it so sometimes I just don't want to turn my car off but tithe I'm giving $90 which is 10% we we went ahead and left that in my account and we have 20 40 60 80 120 40 45 50 55 60 65 70 75 and 80 so i am going to be stuffing my cash dividers first and the rest of the money i do use prop money for my bills as well as my sinking funds and my business binder the reason for that is because it has been a lot easier for me to do rather than take out so much money redeposit it take money out again redeposit it um, this has been actually a great system for me and I'm really enjoying it first we're gonna do my spending and spending is gonna get $50 so that is two twenties and then two fives. So spending has 20, 40, 45, 50. Next we have gas and gas is gonna get 60. And we're doing two twenties and then four fives. We have 20, 40, 45, 50, 55, and 60. And then we have groceries. So groceries is gonna get $60. I don't have a groceries divider so I just use tithe for it just so I can separate the money but we have 20 40 60 so 20 40 60 and groceries and that is it for my wallet dividers and then the last two the last two fives is for Ethan I do have to switch out a five for dollars because he has his own little binder for cash envelope stuffings and I give him ten dollars every time I do a cash envelope stuffing he has been really enjoying it I think he probably has like twenty dollars in his envelope where he can spend it wherever he wants and then he has one for bills tithe savings toys and candy all right so now we're gonna move on to my bills binder And I do have a few envelopes that I need to make because I have a little bit more bills now. Uh, because I pay my own phone bill now. It used to be under my dad. But I decided that I wanted to be a little bit more responsible. It's because I'm making more money and I, I want to t be able to take that responsibility. So... Uh, there's phone and then I did get a security system at my house. It's Vivint. I actually am partnered up with them and um, if you guys are ever interested in home security and you know need a quote, there's no commitment. I can go ahead and leave all my information down below. So a lot has been going on. I know you guys but there's more services that I'm offering now. I just feel so blessed and honored that I get a privilege to be able to just get the opportunity to not even service people but to meet so many new faces and meet so many different people from the world 
um, with what I do. And I just want to say thank you guys so much. So first we have rent and rent is getting $175. I am a month ahead in my bills. Also rent has $150. Uh, 70 and then 5 175 next we have life insurance and life insurance is getting $28 so we have 25, 26, 27, and 28. So utilities is going to get $40. 40. Next we have LA Fitness Child Care and it is getting $10. I have not been taking Ethan with me because I go super early now and they don't have childcare till 8 and I've been going to the gym at 5. I just haven't been taking him because he's sleeping when I go. Wi-Fi is going to be getting $6. So eight five and $1. Our Wi-Fi bill has gone lower. It is $50 a month now and I split this bill with my brother and my dad. Next we have coach and he is getting 25. I do have a coach who gives me out who gives me workouts six days a week. Mommy, it's a little stinky. Where? Here. It's probably the candle. You probably don't like it. It's a little too strong, huh? Next we have East School. We're gonna be skipping it because he doesn't start until the end of next month. He does have some of his preschool money in the bill. Next we have iCloud. iCloud is getting $5. Next we have printer and printer is getting $5 as well. Then we have debt. Debt is going to be getting a 50. And then here is the envelope for my bills. And then we also have a backed bank. That is it for my bills binder. And now we are moving on to my sinking funds. Oops. So the other bills for my binder, we have phone and curology that I had added. And then we also have the home security. So we have $20 for Curology, then we have $25 for phone, and then last but not least, we have $26 for Home Security. So we'll do a $20, a $5. Mama, how do you use it? And then the dollar. Hold on, baby. You're not going to cut your nails right now, Amy. Why are you guys touching literally everything today? The kids have been like and crazy today, you guys. I don't know how to explain it. I am going to add it to the middle between the the debt and then also build all right so here are my sinking funds first we have birthdays and birthdays is getting ten dollars now birthdays has 50 100 10 and 20 120 mommy Next we have car maintenance, and car maintenance is getting $5. Now car maintenance has $100, 
235. Next we have Christmas. Christmas is getting $10. I know I said I was going to start beefing this up, but I don't know what happened and why I'm not doing that. So Christmas has 100, 200, 10, 20, 25, and 30. 230. Ethan is getting five dollars. Mommy, now this looks like uh, now this looks like an animal. What kind of animal? Oh, no. You don't know. Now he has 50, 100, 10. Mommy, do you know how to 15, make an animal? Well, okay, it depends on what type of animal. I can probably do a stick figure. Next is savings is getting $50. And it was Ethan's birthday on the 3rd, and we're celebrating his birthday in a couple of weeks with family and friends at the beach. He chose the location. And he already is beefing up his own savings. Like, this is what I'm doing uh, for him. But he has his own piggy bank. And he loves to save money, you guys. And I don't know if it's because I've been teaching him how to save. But every time he gets money, he never really wants to spend it. So we have 100, 200, 300, 425. 425. Now it's a... Fireball. Yeah. A mad fireball. Dad. Next is so birthday. So isn't so getting so anything because it is pretty beefed up. And what we're doing for his birthday now, we're going to have a lot left over. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hundred fifty, seventy five. So he has a good amount. I doubt we're going to spend all of this. His dad and I do want to surprise him with something that I can't say since he is right here but that is well over enough so we have fitness and fitness is getting five dollars and this wow. goes to supplements and vitamins as well as like workout outfits for me we have 50 100 10 and 15 I have a haul that I need to make uh, for some new workout clothes that I got from Target as well as Walmart that I am in love with. Uh, home is going to get $5. We are stocked up on so much toiletries right now that I don't think we need to buy anything for home. We have $120.35. And then we have the medical. Medical is getting five. Mommy, is that you turn it on? Yeah, we're not playing with that because we're going to return it. So we have 150, 70, 85, 86, 87 for medical. Next we have personal. And personal mommy, is getting five dollars. Yes, Oh, we didn't, huh? Why okay, so personal is has Why so personal ha now has 50, 60, 70. I think we forgot to go, E. Why did we then we have savings, and savings is going to get $50. We have one hundred fifty and seventy dollars for savings. So we only have a fifty left, and we are supposed to have another five for three to six months fund. Oh, uh, I hope I didn't mess up, you guys. This is what happens when I record a video. I always mess up. It's in the garage, but every time I do it while I'm not recording, I don't mess up. I'm not sure, baby. So we have 100, 200, 300, 400, 10, 15, 16, 17 dollars in travel.
So we're actually going to San Diego and I am going to be... Okay, hey, you want to go play? Let me finish working and then we'll go outside and then I'll edit the video while we're outside. So we're actually going to SD on Thursday and I will be using this money because it's a family trip we're kind of going on. Ethan's dad's not going. It's just going to be my sister, her son, me, Ethan, and then my mom. And we have a few things going on. I did actually make a budget for $500. So I'm going to have to uh, go over that budget again and then cut down some expenses because I have a little bit less than $500. I am missing $5 that's supposed to go in three to six months fun. I don't know if I messed up by adding an extra one. I'm going to go over it when I edit the video and figure it out. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it wasn't too long. And we will see you in my next... You scared me. What did you do? You did